Hey everyone, I wanted to do another ODEs video, and this time we're not using any crazy techniques. We're just going to be solving a separable differential equation uh, that uses a small substitution. And these, these ones are really good practice, um, and you should make sure that you can do these pretty easily before you move on to something that's a little bit more challenging. So, we have this differential equation. It's a second order differential equation because it has uh, y double prime. and it looks like it's also a linear differential equation since our uh, our x variable is not tacked on to any of these uh, so you know everything is we've got constants and if that's not clear let me rearrange this so it's in the form of if I multiply both sides by y double prime and <clears throat> also multiply both sides by 3 at the same time I'm left with 3 y prime equals y double prime and that can be slightly rearranged to 0 equals y double prime minus 3y prime, right? So you can see all we have is constants. Um, <clears throat> so we've got a linear second order differential equation. And uh, if you've seen any of the other videos on this channel, you might know that there is a technique that you can solve this using an auxiliary equation, but it's really not necessary for something simple like this. And we can actually use a very easy, simple substitution. So what we're gonna do is let, let's pick the variable v. We'll let v be equal to, and we're gonna let this be equal to the first derivative of y. So that'll be dy dx or y prime, right? So if I were to take the derivative of v, with respect to x, then that would be just the second derivative of y, right, with respect to x, which is y double prime equals v prime, right? Cool. So why is this, why is this helpful? Let's substitute this in, and it might be a little bit more clear. And for the purposes of solving this differential equation, we're not actually going to be using this uh, standard form with the, the zero on one of the sides. We are gonna have the, that first equation there. So we'll be three times and then y prime, we let that be equal to v. y double prime, we let that be equal to v prime, but I will let that be uh, dv dx because I think it's a little bit more clear. And suddenly this looks a lot easier to solve if it wasn't already right because now we've just got a even simpler looking uh, separable differential equation of the first order okay so what we're going to do is we're going to solve this for v and then we're going to use our substitution and put that in terms of y which is what was given so let's solve this for v now okay and how are we going to do this? Well, we need to put all of our v's on one side and we need to put all the x's on the other side. So we've got, <clears throat> this will be 3 dx is equal to 1 over v dv. And I can integrate both sides. Let me make a little bit more room here. And I'll do this integral in red. Okay. So let's move this over here. So the integral of 3 dx is just 3x. And this is equal to 1 over v dv. So the integral of this with respect to v is the natural logarithm of v. So ln of v. And we actually need to also have a constant here because these are both uh, uh, integrals without any bounds, right? So we'll add a quick plus c there. Okay, so now we would like to isolate for v. So then we can put everything in terms of y. So we're looking for our solution v. Since v is in the natural logarithm term, to get rid of that, we're going to put everything on both sides to the exponent of e. So this will reduce to e to the 3x is equal to 
e times ln of v plus c. Okay? Right. So, one second. So we can't reduce the left hand side right now, but the right hand side, uh, we can use our properties of exponentials and we can say that this is equal to e times ln of v times e to the c, right? And you might also notice that e to the c, that entire term right there, this is just a constant, right? c is a constant and e is just a constant. So e to the c will just be some constant, right? You could leave it like this and leave this as e to the c, but let's just redefine a new constant because it's going to make our answer a lot neater. It'll make things easier to simplify if we did have something more complicated. So we'll do uh, let e to the c be equal to, and I'll call this capital A, so why not? Okay, so we've got e to the 3x is equal to a times Lo, uh, and then e to the ln of v. So since that e and the natural logarithm are inverses of each other, that will just reduce to v. Great. So now we've got v, right? And what we want to do is put this in terms of y. So we can use our substitution that we made initially, that v is just equal to dy dx. And then we've got a first order differential equation separable, super easy to solve. So now we've got, this is e to the 3x equals a times dy dx. Beautiful. We can integrate, or first let me rearrange, e to the 3x. We gotta get our x's on one side, our y's on the other. So e to the 3x dx is equal to a dy. We will take the integral of both sides. So e to the 3x. This is going to become 1 third times e to the 3x, right? If I were to take the derivative of this from the chain rule, I have to multiply it by 3. So uh, that would leave me with e to the 3x if I took the derivative of that. OK, and then our right hand side is just a times y. And don't forget another constant. We will call this capital B because why not? Okay, beautiful. So now we just have to rearrange and we will get our answer. So this will be, uh, how can I write this? We can do 1 third e to the 3x and it doesn't really matter. We could subtract b from both sides but for uh, the most simple answer. I'm just going to move my b to the other side. Um, it really doesn't matter. So then this is all divided by a. This is equal to y. And this is our final answer. Great, right here. And what are the constants a and b? We would be able to figure this out if we were given initial values to the problem. So this is how you would turn uh, what we, from what we were given, a second order differential equations, and use some quick substitutions to make it into two easy, separable first order differential equations.